Welcome back to Roaming Reckless, where my dog Blue and I are living in my 1997 Land Rover Defender, truck camping our way through all 50 states. Last episode, we left you guys on a cliffhanger. Pretty sick upgrades installed to make winter easier. You know what I mean? I know you want to know what these upgrades are, and I'm so excited to tell you that it's a... Sorry about that. I love editing and sometimes it just gets away from me. Okay, I see an opportunity and I have to take it. But let me walk you through the luxury upgrades that I did to my Defender to make it more winterized for Alaska. About time, right? We've been in Alaska for four months and I'm just now finally getting prepared for the winter season. <laughs> it's very on brand for me. All right, who guessed a diesel heater install? Anybody? You were right. I did have a few more things done than just that, but yes, we did get a diesel heater professionally installed. And oh my gosh, why did nobody tell me I would have to take out a mortgage to afford this thing? I'm clearly not over it yet. Well worth the investment, but holy cow. <laughs> Anyways, do, 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 do. Here is the diesel heater. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Let's turn it on for 15 minutes. Red means heat. <laughs> the diesel heater lives right here, right across from the Jackery on the uh, stealth camping bed section of the Defender. So along with the heater install, I had them do this, which is like, listen, I'm not a mechanic. I don't fully understand it, but it's like a fuse panel breaker system that charges the Jackery when I drive the vehicle. So finally, I can have the Jackery charging as I drive. I can also flip this breaker down here, which turns off the power to the car battery, and then I can use my Jackery to run the diesel here, which is really nice. They have given me a bunch of fancy options that will definitely help this setup as I go down the road. They also upgraded my dual battery solenoid so that it's better somehow. This is the button I press if I need to jump myself. It's supposed to be absolutely brutal this week. I think it's like negative 45 at night. That's what's coming up, so. It's only gonna be, I think, negative 10 or 15 tonight, so it's kind of like a good starting point to jump off testing this diesel heater because if it can't handle negative 15 with the cab all the way up, we're screwed for negative 45 without wind chill. Like, that's not including wind chill. like the type of cold that's not even fun anymore. <laughs> this isn't even cute. negative so we shall see last night we tested the diesel heater in stealth mode so this is what that looked like good evening guys checking in from the stealth camp I have the buddy heater going right now because I have not even touched the diesel heater yet so it's time for us to finally give this thing a whirl I'm sure it's gonna do phenomenal stealth camping tonight so my main thing is actually testing out the aisle cab but I still just want to see the differences between the two so I know what I'm getting into, whether I'm stealth camping or, you know, have the full setup going. Okay, shall we? I've got the other wood piece over so that blue can like sleep on this side. And there's a two inch gap right here so that the heat can escape through. When I talked to Charlie who did the install, he was like, that's more than enough for you to feel the heat. So it's kind of like, if I have my wood slap over where the diesel heater vent is, isn't that gonna kind of like trap all the heat? I'm not really gonna feel it. And he's like, no, that should be more than enough for it to escape. It's just gonna like vent up. So 
That's what the trial run is for. We're gonna see <laughs> how it does. Let's freaking do this, dude. Let's do 70. can hear that it's kicked on. I think my plan for the future too is to like drill little holes all over this just so there's some sort of airflow coming up. Feel the heat. Bobby, there's a diesel heater. What? Is it heater? Wow, how exciting. Wait, we're gonna be warm tonight. That's gotta be the most exciting thing I've ever heard. Oh, ow, okay, okay. Oh. I'm waiting to Ow! Okay, stop biting me. Stop. Biting is not nice. Um, you menace? Ow! Stop it. Do you have rabies? What is your deal, my dude? What is it all about, miss? Oh, he's so excited! Okay, what's up? No. No more. You're just being plain naughty now. Oh, you're so fucking cute though. All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed and I'll let you guys know in the morning how it goes. Well, looks like there's not enough airflow. Well, that's kind of awkward. That diesel heater works, you guys. <laughs> Look at the freaking moon. <laughs> Look at the mountains. I just... We'll never get over it. I'm such a tourist. Okay. Wow. Oh man, look at all the rust that's starting. That is no bueno. I need to do something about that. Man, I can't remember the last time I had that up. Up, up, up. Oh boy. Uh. Oh my gosh. Let's get this thing rolling. I genuinely can't remember the last time I had that cab up, so. Oh my gosh, it's so cold up here. I seriously forgot how much room I have in this rig. Why <laughs> this thing is open? Let me close the blinds. <laughs> bada bing, bada boom. Let's get this thing freaking rolling. It's truly the little things in life, like having an appropriate level of heat for safety, you know, like being actually well prepared for the elements that you're in. It's crazy, I uh, <laughs> I get it now, so. There she is, 70 degrees, we'll start there. We'll start with an hour, see how it feels. Red means heat. I repurchased a buddy heater, of course, just in case things were to go wrong. We've all seen what happens to me when I don't have a backup heat source, so we are prepared this time. Actually, go me. <laughs> it's already working. That was fast. All right, I'm gonna turn off Poe. Can you guys hear it kicking on? There she goes. What do you think, bub? This is all for you. Honestly, I would just suffer. But you can't. Yeah.
Good job, Bubby. Did you eat your medicine? Yes. Good boy. I used to keep all of my kitchen stuff in this storage bin down here, but I moved all of my immediate like quick grab cooking stuff to under the sink. And I just, I feel like it makes more sense. I don't know, easier to access. I'm just moving stuff around you guys. Really switching it up. Does that excite anybody else or just me? I put this away dirty and never cleaned it. So that's lovely. That really shouldn't surprise anybody, also, but gross. <laughs> Ignore me. I should probably cut that and not even put that in, but knowing me, I will totally leave it in. Anyways, as you guys know, with Blue's uh, cancer journey, every time he goes through chemo, we get an Airbnb for like a day or two after, just because Blue isn't really allowed to be in like inclement weather. He has to restore his body, so... It's actually like per vet instruction. And so anyways, last time I was at an Airbnb, I deep cleaned Poe, and that's when I like moved everything around. And I don't know, everything just seems a little bit more functional and cleaner these days, which is very exciting. Man, I need to remember to do dishes though, holy cow. You guys look, even my fridge is clean right now. New year, new me. <laughs> like for real. <laughs> right, what are we working with? Um, chicken, okay, as so long as it doesn't betray me. Chicken and broccoli, maybe? We'll be healthy tonight. You guys, so far, this diesel heater, oh my gosh. It's not as strong as it was last night with the stealth camp, obviously, I knew that. We have the whole upper space in the, plus the yellow cab is not well insulated at all. Although, you know, Poe is not well insulated at all either. I still need to insulate, like I have this stuff to do, I still need to insulate Poe. Because like the cracks on the side here where I sleep, you can feel airflow coming in. And actually like during the day, you can see daylight out of the back door as well. So it's just, there's, cold air can seep in no matter what, hot air can seep out. But um, even though it's not as strong as it was last night, it's still, holy cow, better than nothing. You know what I mean? Don't do this to me. Why do you never light anymore? Oh my gosh. In case people don't think inflation is insane in Alaska, $8.19 for a bottle of ranch. $8.19 for a... I can't even, my little Michigan heart. I didn't feel like cooking vegetables, so veggies and ranch and chicken. Still kind of healthy. You just want to play fetch, huh? I feel ya. I'm organized, my fridge is clean, and I'm eating healthy. <sighs> Who is she? I don't know. I didn't smell the chicken tonight. Are you guys proud of me? And it's like perfectly cooked. Killing it. Broccoli has no business being this good. Fun fact, I used to love carrots so much in high school that I was surprised for Christmas with a cat. I always get surprised at Christmas with animals, because blue is a Christmas present too. I'm just connecting those dots. Anyways, I loved Carrot so much that I named my cat Carrot in Spanish, and we called her Zana for short. You just can't go wrong with a carrot, you know what I mean? That's why I have 2020 vision. Except not anymore, because now I need glasses for driving. Thanks mom and dad for the bad genetics that I need glasses in my 20s, you know?
I did my part. I ate the carrots. I tried to save my eyes. getting some work done it and I must say it's very nice to have a constant heat like dry heat as well but I'm so used to the heat like fogging up all the windows and creating all this condensation there's still a little bit this back window back here is frozen so there's a little bit of condensation but that's just from us breathing anyways dry heat is nice okay it's time to uh, get ready for bed <laughs> and see how this sucker does throughout the night let me it's time for bed! Nighttime routine! <laughs> oh! Not the money maker! <laughs> Get the electric blanket preheated. Brush your teeth, people. I can't tell you how many people I have met or have known that don't brush their teeth every day. That's just crazy. Blue wants to be the center of attention, but he also said everybody should brush their teeth. If you're watching this and you don't brush your teeth twice a day, please start. And that's coming from somebody who lives in a truck, so. <laughs> don't get too comfy, we're going up. We're going up, kid. We're going up. All right, let's go to bed. I brought all the layers up here for tonight. Oh, I think my pillows are down there. Yes, okay. It's gonna be kind of funky sleeping with this open all night so that the heat can get up, but. Hey mister, can you, okay. Can you get your dirty paws off my pillow, please? This is so weird. The Power of Now is like one of the denser books I've read in the last couple of years. It's, for some reason I thought this book was gonna be about like the power of now, like act now. I thought it was gonna be like a business book and it's not. It's like a spiritual book. And there's like these pauses they put every few paragraphs that make you, you're supposed to like pause and think about the information because that's how dense it is. And my brain hurts reading this book. So this is, I'm only gonna read like a chapter a day. Okay, so this is why I'm reading two right now because I like to read pretty quick or like get through a lot. So I'm also reading this one, which so far is very good. I also just finished, uh, what was it? Success Habits. It's by Napoleon Hill. That book was phenomenal. Loved that, breezed right through it. Anyways, my entire point of this spiel is that I'm gonna get some reading done before going to bed tonight. Also, one of the cool things about the diesel heater is that you can set specific timers up. So I've already set some up for tonight. Instead of just running it all night long like I did last night for the stealth camp, I'm testing out the heater. So I have the first one, I think, turning on at 4 a.m. to run for an hour, and the second one to turn on at 7 a.m. to run for an hour. So it's going to be popping on and off. It's already like... It's already 1 in the morning, so... And it's going to be running for, I think another half hour so we've got like a couple hour breaks in between the here anyways it's all gonna be okay anyways all that to say that's how we're setting up for the night I think those uh I think those timers are really cool like how nifty of a function great puppy thank you oh okay thank you thank you so much thank you yep
All right, guys, I just want to take a second to thank today's sponsor, Wondershare Filmorna, which has just had major feature upgrades for tools like their AI music generator. This thing is super cool. It allows thousands of combinations of music themes, genres, and tempos, so you can generate music specifically to your taste. I kind of like to put like an upbeat 80s theme on my episodes usually, so it's been really fun experimenting with this and seeing how I can kind of like create my own version of that. Like right here, I was messing around with a happy mood, travel theme, and funk genre. I liked the song, but it wasn't quite right. So I messed around with a few different themes and moods until I realized that I just needed a slower tempo. Perfect. The generated music is also commercially available, which is super nice, so you don't have to search for royalty-free, copyright-free music anymore. There's also other great AI tools like the Denoise tool, which removes background noise from your audio. Just look at this before and after. I get it now, so. I get it now. And they also have tools like the AI vocal remover, AI audio stretch, the audio visualizer, and audio sync. So kind of whatever you're looking for, they've created a tool to make it easy for you. You can check out all of these for yourself by downloading Filmorna for free. I left a link in my description down below for you guys. Thank you again to Filmorna for sponsoring today's video. Thank you so much. What a game changer. Holy cow. This heater is insane. <laughs> I can't believe how much this diesel here works. Like the canvas is so soft and usually when it's cold out, it's like freezing, you know? Hard as a rock, if you will. So and there's no like, well, I guess there's a little bit, there's a little bit of frost in the corners, but like not nearly as much as we have been dealing with, so. Solid, Bubby. Oh, pop up. I'm curious how much the diesel heater used last night, so I went ahead to a gas station and fill up. I think we ran it for like eight hours, I want to say, total. With the timer set, that was three hours. And I bet I ran it like five hours before that. I don't know. We'll see. Let's head out. People getting ready to snowmobile. Lovely. So I've been having to kind of like camp around precipitation 
Why do I say precipitation like there's any other choice but snow? I don't know. Anytime it snows though, I either have to make sure I'm good to sit for a few days or I have to like not go anywhere, not use my wipers. It's kind of dangerous. So just staying on brand for usual. Wow, I really need coffee. I am not me when I'm not caffeinated. Look how stunning that is. Okay, Alaska, pop off. Not even three gallons, wow. Poe usually averages like 22 miles a gallon. So we have like half of that is probably from driving around the other and like going up the mountain and stuff. We probably got a little bit less than normal miles per gallon. And then that's like what? A gallon for the diesel heater? And wait, 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 wait. We also idled Poe last night for like two hours. Dang, so honestly, the diesel heater took like barely anything. Like maybe half of a gallon. And the rest was just from running Po and driving around. Wow. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, hello, proper love. Oh, yeah. Do you like the diesel heater too? Man, this thing is like a savior. I'm pretty pumped about it. Definitely a good investment, seeing as I have a lot more winter seasons in this truck than just right now, so I'm excited. <laughs> okay, I need coffee because I'm like not even human right now. Okay, oh, get off the camera, buddy. Hello, hello. I know, everything is in your seat, you're confused. I know, buddy, I know, it's confusing. Yeah, it's confusing. Okay, coffee, 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 coffee. Oh, there's a little espresso hut here. Hi, sorry, I have to go through backwards. <laughs> um, could I do a um, large iced almond milk latte? Okay. And then um, could I do like half the normal amount of hazelnut? Sure. Yeah, and that'll okay. be it. Got it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you bet. I love supporting like the tiniest little coffee huts ever because you know that your sales make a difference to them, you know? And usually they're super good. <laughs> oh, it's strong.